What's good YouTube, Mighty here, back at it again with another video. Today I bring you what will be the first video out of a series in which I will be showing you the many things you can do with Amulet World Editor, which as I said in the last video was my favorite Minecraft related program. In this first episode, I'm going to show you how to import structures and schematics into your world. So let's get right into it. All right, so right here we got the world select menu. And we're gonna choose this amulet test world that I made for the purpose of the video, just to show you guys how this works. We're gonna select 3D editor and give it a second for it to load. All right, so right here, amulet just generated the terrain. Well, amulet is now generating the terrain. So, like I said, I'm gonna teach you guys how to import structures and schematics and all that. So to do that, we simply go down here to where it says import click on import and then import file. And the good thing about Amulet is that it not it doesn't just allow for structures and schematics, but it allows for pretty much all types of files, like, you know, constructions, MC structures, schematics, bedrock, even bedrock MC structures, which Amulet is actually bedrock friendly, which is great. Legacy at a schematic files. So that schematic sponge schematic files that schem. So in my case, I'm going to select that schem as I had a schematic that had this format and it, it is this one right here the longsword pair which i'm going to use for to show you guys in the video so as you can see if you double click it it will just immediately load up the schematic into the world and mm, it'll just you know have you like moving it around like this so if you just want to set it still you pretty much right click and then left click to set it like right in front of you because if you just left click it will just send it far away so as you can see right here, we have our two long swords, which if you don't know what these are, these are, these are two ships from Halo. If you played Halo, you most definitely know what these are. But anyways, as you can see right here, now that we've placed our schematic, it gives you here, a, it gives you a menu on the left with a couple of options here. So first of all, the location, the X, Y, Z coordinates, as you can see, this is indeed coordinate based meaning that it is pretty precise so you can pretty much move it around to whatever location you want you can move it up down to the left to the right whatever you want i'm gonna leave it right here and here we have rotation which is also x y and z so as you can see right here it is moving it by like 90 degrees and that is because i don't have uh, the free rotation enabled and if you enable this like what this does is pretty much it allows you to rotate it like more precisely as you can see right here instead of rotating by like 90 degrees it rotates by only a few degrees and what this does is that when you actually hit confirm down here it would actually show the ship slanted not literally like this because that's not really possible in minecraft but it will do this which i'm going to show you right now just so you guys can see more or less what it looks like and but before we do that I will show you the rest of the options, which are scale and these three down here. So for scale, pretty much what that is, is literally what it says. You can change the size of it to make it like twice as long, twice as wide, twice as tall, whatever you want. In my case, I'm not gonna change any of that because it kind of because it, it looks kind of goofy, kind of weird. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And last but not least, these three options, paste, air, paste, water, and paste, lava, are three options that you most definitely want to disable. Because if you don't, what will basically happen is that once you load up the world, it will immediately crash and it will pretty much corrupt it. Uh, unless you're playing like on the same version that the schematic is for. Unless that's your case, you very much want to disable these three uh, options. Just to, just to be sure, even if you're playing on the same version. Now for what I was going to show you with the free rotation. So we're just going to go ahead and change this to 7 degrees. So it's rotated like slightly to the left like that. And we're going to hit confirm. So right now it's running the operation as you can see. Now if we hit select. You can see that the ship is sort of like slanted. Uh, from our view to the right in a way so it looks like it's you know turning to the left which looks very cool it looks really clean amulet actually does uh, does pretty well with this now as i don't actually want it to you know look like it's like flying like that i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hit import again and just set it straight so we can actually export it and we can see it inside the and i can actually show it to you guys inside the world so we're gonna go ahead and get the long again 
switch this back to zero because when you load it up, it actually remembers what you did beforehand. We're gonna set them right here. And with these three options disabled, we're gonna hit confirm. It is now running the operation. We can now click on the select button. And there we go. We have our two ships and we are ready to actually check them out in game. So to do that, all we have to do is click on this button up here to save what we just did. Give it a second for it to actually do so. So right now we can just exit out of the program and we can actually load up Minecraft right now. All right, we are now loading up the world that we just put in these long swords into. And there we go. We shall now be able to see our ships and there they are. Now, one thing to note about Amulet World Editor, and this is something that has only started to happen recently for some reason, which I still do not know. Uh, there are these shadows that pop up over whatever construction it is that you actually like import. So to get rid of the shadows, it's actually not that hard. All you have to do if it's, well, it's not that hard if it's a small build anyways. All you have to do is just break a couple of blocks and they'll go away, but it, it does it is kind of time consuming really you would pretty much like trigger uh, trigger some sort of reaction near it or maybe place some like light blocks or, or something like that you know place some blocks around it just so it goes away you could probably place some barriers or, or something like that now just to show you guys that this actually you know inputted the full thing even though you can sort of see it we're gonna go ahead and get a night vision potion and as you can see right here, both long swords have been imported indeed. So this does work, but with the only downside being that shadow that pops up for some reason, I'm going to see if I can actually find the solution to that. And if I can, I will definitely make a video about it as well. And so that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, please leave a like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I upload a new video. So without any further ado, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.